What is up guys? Welcome to another BIOS video and today we're checking out the BIOS here on the Asus ROG Maximus 12 Hero motherboard. Now this BIOS should be pretty much the same across Asus's Maximus or ROG Maximus line. Of course, settings will be a little bit different depending on what motherboard you have, but we're gonna give you a walkthrough of everything and kind of show you what this BIOS is all about. Now, we are in easy mode or uh, I guess it's, yeah, this is easy mode and you can toggle between advanced mode and easy mode by just hitting F7. Um, but easy mode will give you pretty much everything that you need to, you know, get into Windows and, and have everything running the way you want. So up top, we have our information. We have our CPU temperature graph in real time, CPU voltage uh, in motherboard temperature right here. Over here, we have our DRAM status that just shows you the memory that we have installed. And if we have XMP enabled or disabled, just easy, just like that, we can disable it and we can easily enable it. Over here, storage information. Uh, we only have one drive installed right here and we can turn off Intel Rapid Storage technology. Really easy there. Um, all of our fans and uh, pump headers and everything like that, we only have one CPU fan uh, connected and we can see what it is running at. Of course, these are all in real time as well. And then we have our fan curve here, which you can see. You can actually click on Q fan control and you can set all of the headers on the board. So you can set them to standard, silent, turbo, full speed, or manual. Um, pretty, e you know, pretty easy to do, and it's pretty nice that you have that right here in the BIOS. Over here is AI overclocking. You can do like a auto overclock right here. You can just switch it, it's pretty easy to do. And then boot priority, again, we only have one drive connected, but if we had multiple drives, you can just drag and drop them. Um, here, really easy to set your boot priority if you want to. And that is pretty much easy mode. You can toggle um, the RGB LEDs on the board on and off here. I like that that's in the BIOS. So you, if you don't want them at all, you can just turn them off. You don't have to deal with any software or anything like that. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much the easy mode. You can also hit F5 to load defaults and F10 to save and exit, but they're also down here as well. But let's go ahead and jump into advanced mode. Now, when you jump into advanced mode, the first tab that you'll come to is uh, main. And in main, it just has kind of all of your you know basic information, what version of the BIOS that you're running, all that stuff, stuff on your processor, language, dates, and stuff like that. You can go into security and you can set user passwords and administrator passwords. Um, and then we go over to Extreme Tweaker. And of course, this is where you're going to do all of your tuning, overclocking, and things like that. So one thing I like to see is that I do like to see our targets. So if you're changing any of these settings, your targets will change so you know kind of, you know, what frequency you're shooting for. Um, if you're, you know, want to set your XMP profile, this is set to auto uh, by default. You know, it says let BIOS optimize, but if you just want to like enable your XMP, just hit XMP one and it loads your XMP profile and everything like that. Um, very easy to do. We can go down here. Um, Multi-core enhancement is, is set to auto and you know, if you want to change or do some easy overclocking, all you do is CPU core ratio, sync all cores, and then um, you would change this to what you would, you know, uh, all core ratio limit. So what that would be. It's very easy to do. We'll go back to auto here. Um, DRAM frequency, everything like that. Um, you can go into your DRAM timing control and set all of your timings. Um, again, if you're enabling your XMP profile, you don't have to do this, but if you want to set tighter timings or overclock, it's all in here. You can go through all of your timings pretty easily. We will go out of that. Uh, Digi plus VRM. This is your load line calibrations and everything to do with power. It's all right here. It's very easy to access as well. Um, again, most people, you just want to set this what the default is. And then we have internal CPU power management. Um, again, you can set like the maximum CPU core temperatures, uh, the current max. And again, if you do, if you are doing some overclocking, you might want to change this, but Asus has this pretty much set up so that you don't have any specific limits on your temperatures or power limits. 
Um, again, this is a Maximus board, so it's nice that it's set up that way because I think a lot of people who are buying a Maximus board uh, will be doing some overclocking. So uh, they have it set up in here, so you really don't have to mess with it all that much. And that is Extreme Tweaker. Again, everything you need to overclock, everything that you know you need to change power and things like that. Over to Advanced. Um, this is everything, again, that's on the board. So miscellaneous configuration, um, you know, PC Express, power management, things like that. CPU configuration, again, this is everything. Uh, gives you all the information on your CPU and things like that. And then you can turn off or turn on different things. Um, again, with the new 10th generation uh, Intel processors, Per core hyper threading is a new thing and it's available here in the BIOS and you can enable or disable it per core, uh, which is something new with 10th generation. CPU power management control, um, you can go ahead and do all that stuff as well. So again, C states are in here and things like that um, that you might wanna change. System configuration, you guys can go ahead and see that. And again, you can see like your memory configuration, um, graphics configuration, and peg port configuration. Um, you can see all that stuff if you need to change that. PCH configuration, um, you can just see your PCI Express configuration and the speed. PCH storage configuration, again, you can enable or disable SATA controllers. Um, again, each one you can enable or disable. Um, and then again, you can see what you have installed. And we have one drive here installed, but this is all, everything to do with your storage is right here the PCH FW configuration, enable or disable that. Thunderbolt configuration, again, disable or enable that. PCI subsystem. USB configuration, again, by default, everything is enabled. Um, but you can also, like each port on the board, you can enable or disable. Um, if you wanted to do that, you can go ahead and do that. Network stack configuration, again, uh, we have it disabled here, but you can enable it. NVMe configuration. Um, we don't have an NVMe drive installed currently, but if we did, you would go ahead and be able to see uh, the settings for that. And onboard devices configuration. Again, things like your audio, your LAN. Again, this board has five gig LAN, which is pretty nice. Um, LED lighting, again, you can, like a lot of people don't like the RGB LEDs when the system is off. Um, so again, you just change the setting right here and you can turn it, um, you know, stealth mode, aura only, aura off. It's all, it's really nice that it's all in the BIOS. Um, so you don't have to install Asus or a sync if you don't want to. Um, and then M.2 configurations um, and the type C power mode. Uh, for your type C connector is all in here. So everything to do with that is in here. And then we go over to monitor. Um, again, this will show you, you know, in real time, your temperatures, your, um, again, we don't have any of the sensors uh, connected, uh, but your water in, you know, water out uh, sensors. If you had a closed loop cooling system, you could go ahead and do that um, or your own custom loop, you know, you could, connect that but again we can see our fan speeds um, and we should have our voltages and everything like that again you can go into Q fan here as well um, and then CPU temperature LED switch you can enable or disable that so all the stuff that you can monitor and all of the headers and monitoring headers on the board it is all right here so you can see that under boot um, we have CSM uh, support secure boot in boot configuration again you can set everything you know for your boot right here under tools um asus easy flash 3 utility makes it extremely easy to um flash your bios if you need to flash your bios this is the way to do it um you install flash drive and this just makes it super easy to flash secure erase allows you to secure erase an ssd so if you're um selling it if you're giving it to a friend of course you know even if you format your drive not all of your data is gone so it's nice that secure erases in here you have user profile um, spd information right here and then we have the armory crate so 
when you first install Windows, you'll actually get a prompt to install Asus Armory Crate. And I actually do prefer that most people do that just for the fact that it installs Armory Crate and then it's gonna download all of your drivers and all of the software and things like that so you don't have to do it individually. Um, I don't have a problem with that. I know some people do. So if you don't want that to happen when you first install Windows, you can disable it right here. Um, pretty easy to do. And that is all of our tools. And then we have exit. Um, so one thing I like to see is load uh, optimized defaults. Um, and of course, you know, you can save and reset and do all of that stuff. Um, one thing I didn't mention is we have our live hardware monitor over here. Again, we can see everything like this is, this is called prediction. Um, and it gives you your cooler point number and, and things like that. And we can see all of our temperatures and, and everything. I kind of like that it's just right there. Um, pretty nice to see that as well. And then we do have a favorites. Um, again, we haven't changed any of this. This is all default in the BIOS, but you can add things to your favorites and, and things like that. So when, you, when it's over here, um, this is everything that has been added to the favorites in the BIOS that we have. Um, but you know, just for settings that you're going to change all of the time, it's nice to have them just in one menu. I don't have to go into extreme tweaker and say, you know, uh, I don't know, <laughs> go into like Digi plus VRM. Like I don't have to do that. It would just be right here and I can go ahead and change it, which is pretty nice. Um, and we'll go back to easy mode again. I think this BIOS is great. I think Asus does one of the best jobs when it comes to a BIOS. There's a ton of settings, especially since this is a Maximus board, a ton of overclocking settings and everything like that. But even if you're not overclocking, you have this easy mode, which makes it easy to see everything, see you know what's running, and it makes it easy to you know enable your XMP profile, set your boot priority, um, you know, and then there's like the AI overclocking if you want to try to do that. If you're not you know if you don't know how to overclock manually or you just want to give us a try it's right here as well very easy to use haven't had any problems with this bios so if you have any questions about this bios go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and again guys if you do enjoy this uh these bios videos i would appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up we'll see you guys in the next video